dead line. <laughs> it, but that's so common in the world because it, it seems like that's the way the world is set up. It's kind of like a dead line and we want to come back to the point. And it would be nice to come to that point through just living inspiration. So I know there'll be times when, when we'll be in a lot of stillness and then it's like this bursting energy or our mom will come up and say, I feel like I could run a marathon because uh, the energy is so high and so strong and, and it's a, a call sometimes to extend it. Just like the tides, the ebb and flow of the tides where you have this deep stillness and then you have this, this energy. What's, what you're really asking though about the deadline is what makes a deadline a deadline except fear of consequences? Uh, that's what I had to start to look at. Like any deadlines I had in my life, it didn't matter whether it was something around cooking food or having to complete a project for work or completing something that I had said that I would complete by a certain time, I could see that I was still in the sense of trying to keep voluntary choices and the more that you question fear and you release fear from your mind, you release the fear of these external consequences, you can just be in this divine flow. And you see that, that everything is contained in the flow, so there's nothing outside of the flow. And that's where, like Krishnamurti used to say, I am the world, the world is me. It's unified perception. It's like everything becomes unified and there's no fear of, of a consequence. Like that thought, if I don't do this, then that will happen. And if you play the game of the world and you follow this egoic belief system, then, then there seems to be lots of, of things that you have to keep in check or you have to make sure that things happen to keep everything spinning. And we're starting to realize you don't have to keep everything spinning. It's absolutely just glorious to give yourself permission to, to step into this intuitive way of living and see that you have no consequences. Also it's attentiveness that that if there's something to be attended to in having a strong prayer life, we just will hear the prompt. Remember this, remember that. It's like you don't have to, to have hold it in conscious awareness, it's just given. It's like a little internal reminder. Remember this, remember this, and then it's just so easy to do that. <laughs>